Hello? A while ago, I made a video in which I was connecting a Volca keys to a MIDI controller. And many people, many people, posted comments saying that they couldn't get it to work. Roll the comments. So in this video, we'll take a look at how to connect it standalone and with the computer. So hopefully we can help some people to connect their gear. Okay, here we have the setup that I used in the previous video. Here's the Volca keys. And here is uh, the MIDI controller is an M-Audio Keystation 49E. All you need to do is to get a hold of a MIDI cable, standard MIDI cable. Go to the back of the Keystation and plug one end of the MIDI cable into the MIDI out port and plug the other end of the cable into the Volca MIDI in. And voila! Now you can control the Volca keys from the key station. This is the song I was playing in that video. If it still doesn't work, check the MIDI cable. If it's a bad MIDI cable, replace it with a MIDI cable that you know it works for sure. If it still doesn't work, check the MIDI channel, both on the controller keyboard and on the Volca. The units must be on the same MIDI channel to work. Let's say we want both of our devices uh, to talk to each other on MIDI channel 1. Right now they're both set to MIDI channel 1 and they can talk. Now let's change the MIDI channel on the keyboard to number two. How do you do that? You go to advanced functions here, press the advanced functions button, and the MIDI channels 1 through 16 are on keys D1 through E3, the 16 keys here. So right now it's set on number one. If you want to set the MIDI channel on number two, plop, light goes away, and it's on channel two. Now when you try to, to play the Volca, nothing. However, you can change it to number two on the Volca. How do you do that? Turn off the Volca. Keep the memory button down and turn it on. The 16 touch keys represent the 16 MIDI channels. Right now it's on number one. Let's move it to number two so we can talk to the MO audio. Press record to say yes. Now both units are on channel number two and they talk to each other. So make sure the MIDI channel is the same on both devices. If you want to use the key station with a computer USB, it's a very similar concept, but you need an extra piece of equipment. Since the Volca does not have a USB port, you need a USB to MIDI interface. This is a very simple M-Audio MIDI sport interface. And as you can see here, it's got one end where you can connect the USB cable to your computer. 
and on the other end here you have the usual MIDI out and in. What you need to do is to run a cable from the MIDI out of the audio, of the MIDI interface again to the MIDI in of the Volca keys. Then you go to your DAW, it doesn't matter which DAW, they're all the same. This one is uh, Cubase but it's all the similar concept for all of them. You just add a MIDI track And here on the command module here, since you're going out from uh, the key station MIDI out to the computer MIDI in via USB, set the input to the key station 49. And then since you're going out from uh, the MIDI interface to the MIDI in of the Volca, set the output to the MIDI interface, which is the MIDI sport right here. And voila, again, you can control the Volca from the key station going through the computer USB to MIDI back to the Volca. Okay, I hope this helps. Let me know if it, everything is clear or you still can't get it to work. Hopefully now you can control your Volca from uh, your keyboard controller. And by the way, it's the same concept for all the MIDI controller keyboards, all the MIDI devices. So it's just a standard. That's the way MIDI works. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.